What's going on guys? Mugox Big X 36X and giving you guys another shiny Modern Warfare 3 gameplay and today well in this particular commentary because it's like the third one today because I'm posting a crap ton of Modern Warfare 3. Uh I'm gonna kind of I didn't mean for my first commentaries to always be negative, but it turns out this game all I can talk about is really negative things. I can't really bring up any one thing in this game or that they implemented in this game that makes it better than any other Call of Duty. There's not one thing. I, and if you guys think differently, go ahead and leave your comments. Go ahead and leave what you think uh, to be um, the thing that really made this game better than all the others because it, it's such minor changes. The kill streaks in like, groups or whatever, little change doesn't make that big of a difference, which I can actually see it being a negative change, as I'll explain later. Uh, this new animation, like how you run and how you pull up your scope, that's new. It's kind of a little thing as well, but I do not like that at all, and I'll probably talk about that a little bit more later. Uh, but first, what I want to talk about is the main point of this video, the spawns. This video, or this game, just made me aware of the spawn problems in Modern Warfare 3, and actually a few games after this, I was playing Free For All, and it still has the Modern Warfare treat, you know, like the San Francisco treat, but it's a Modern Warfare 2 treat of, uh, in Free For All, when you kill a guy, spawning the guy you kill right behind you, then they kill you. Um, that happened to me a couple times, so, uh, there's obviously some, uh, pretty big problems with this game, and I'm not sure if they're planning on fixing it or leaving it. First off, everybody uses this gun, this Scar L or Scar H. I don't even know what it is, uh, but a lot of people use it. I've seen a lot of gameplay on YouTube, and a lot of people are using this one. I don't know why I shot at that wall. I got scared. Whenever I get scared, I just shoot at random objects. First off, I don't know this map, so I'm just running into walls and getting lost. I need need to pull out my map. I'm shooting right at him. Not one hit marker. Uh, great, great... Uh, I guess that would be considered hit detection. Uh, once the spawns, there's the first spawn kill. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. Maybe it's just, well, it's not just demolition because I know it happens in free-for-all too. And I'm not sure about team deathmatch. I've only played demolition and team, De or free-for-all. Um, and sorry if I'm stumbling and being like a really sloppy commentary. But, um, or being a really sloppy commentator. Making a really sloppy commentary. Uh, I'm living, or staying awake off a of monster energy drink right now. Uh, I'm really tired. Um, but as you could tell in that previous death, I, I mean, I just pop up right on his screen. He didn't just watch me spawn. Um, kind of something I'd hope they fix, along with, uh, the guns. The guns are so overpowered in this game. The guns are just as overpowered, if not more overpowered, in Modern Warfare 3 than they are in Modern Warfare 2. Which brings me to the kill streaks. I know there's the three groupings, Assault, Support, and a Specialization? Special... Specialer, I'm not sure what the third one is. I probably just slaughtered it, but can't put my finger on it right now. Uh, and what can I say about those? Uh, I'm not sure what one is the actual kill streaks, like the normal kill streak that's been in every Call of Duty. But that one, I have a feeling, is going to end up being used because people want those amazing games with their amazing kill streaks. And how else are you going to get an 18 kill streak Osprey Gunner? Uh, 18, and then it has to be 18 kills in a row without camping. With the guns this overpowered, if, if a guy is behind you, you have no chance to turn around and kill them unless they start missing. Uh, if they have bad aim like me. Um, which is, my, I blame my bad aim on this. I just don't like the scopes, how they come up and how they sway. I just, maybe I just have to get used to it, but I'm, I'm not really liking that. Um, maybe you guys like it? I don't know. Um... Uh, but unless they miss, like, if you, if you get start getting shot at from behind, there's no time to turn around. You get you get killed dang quick. And another problem I've been experiencing is bullets curving around corners. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure most of you probably know or heard about that. You know, when a guy, you're pretty sure you're way past around a corner, like right there, and a guy's shooting straight and the bullets somehow curve around the corner and kill you. I've experienced quite a few problems with that as well. Um, so that's the problems I see with kill streaks. Uh, people are just going to end up sitting in a corner uh, and using their overpowered guns. They won't have to worry about people sneaking up and killing them because they can plant their dang claymores or uh, 
these there's a part in this game that I get blown up by some round thing and they can use those and just camp in a corner and get their high kill streaks which uh, their objective with this game was to make sure people wouldn't camp and I th or people that didn't camp would get rewarded and the people that camped wouldn't get as rewarded and there's that damn round thing that blows the hell up um, looks like an overpowered claymore to me uh, but I, I have a feeling that camping could be a big big issue uh, that I was gonna say something else about it but I totally forgot what I was gonna say uh, but I know the main objective I thought was to help the point players and not help the campers but it's just gonna end up helping the campers and end up being Modern Warfare 2 all over people camping in a corner getting their high kill streaks and just completely raping everybody and uh, I actually watched White Boy Seven Streets or some of White Boy Seven Streets' first game or Forty One Kill Street game or whatever, and it's just him camping. Uh, so I thought that was pretty intense. It just shows the mortality of some people in this game. Uh, but you know, I'm not here to call him out. So uh, I, I like I'm not a camper. I cannot stand camping. So this is about the end of the game because I stopped the recording because I get pissed. So later, guys.